Florida Senator Marco Rubio today introduced a bill restricting benefits to Cubans who arrive in the United States. Rubio first spoke to CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy last week on the campaign trail in New Hampshire about his plans, and Jim joins us now with more. Jim? Elliot Rubio said he's been clear to him for some time that many of the Cubans arriving in the United States these days are taking advantage of the preferential treatment they've received for decades. Those Cubans are fleeing economic hardship and not political persecution in the view of Marco Rubio. The law he told me last week in New Hampshire needs to be changed. Not only does it need to be re-examined for that reason, but I even think the benefits that people are receiving now that they're coming on the Cuban Adjustment Act need to be re-examined. And we see the abuses already. We see the abuses happening. You have people coming now. They are collecting Social Security, having never worked in the U.S., and they're moving back to Cuba, and their relatives are wiring them the money. I mean, we're, the system's being taken advantage of, and it needs to be addressed. Now, Rubio's bill would require those seeking government assistance to prove that they are actual political refugees. The measure is a similar one to a bill introduced last week, or last month, rather, by Miami Congressman Carl Scarbello. And, Jim, of course, this law has been on the books since the 1960s. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say it's about time we take another look at it. What kind of support does it have? He's getting good support. I mean, already, Carl Scarbello's bill is, is signed on. Co-sponsors include the other con uh, Cuban-American congresspeople, Ileana ross Layton, Mara diaz Bellart, and even across the aisle, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the head of the DNC. She's also a co-sponsor. All right, we'll keep uh, watching and see what happens. Jim DeFitti, thank you.